welcome to Redefined Gospel YouTube channel where we are thriving in Christ. Well, if you're new here, this particular channel seeks to ensure that we handle contemporary issues in a manner where we are able to thrive in Christ and live our life to the fullest. So if you've not subscribed, kindly do subscribe because there's always content for you here every Thursday without fail. So today now we'll be talking about purpose. You know, on to very serious topics, purpose, how to discover your purpose. You know, there has been so much uh, talk and so much that has been said about you need to know your purpose, you need to know. And I have found friends telling me, and I don't know my purpose. And there is a tendency of thinking that knowing your purpose is you being able to maybe act, you being able to sing, you being able to do like this conventional things and people think that I do not know my purpose. So I'm going to give a total of four tips, four things that you can do to ensure that you discover your purpose. Disclaimer, this is not a conclusive list. So if you do these four things and it doesn't work, it's not a conclusive list, but I believe it can, it will forge you forward to somewhere because living a life without a purpose is so bad. Let me just put it that way. It's so bad because in Corinthians, we are told that you do not run as if you're running without an aim. You do not box as if you're boxing the air. But you run to a certain, towards a certain goal. And when you're uh, running towards a certain goal, there's a manner in which you're supposed to run. And in between it, getting the crown of life, there is purpose, there's all these things. And it's really important to know your purpose. You know, sometimes I say, don't put if everything that I'm doing is not in my calling or my purpose, or I'm doing things in vain. It's so bad to do things in vain. Like the way you can be maybe waiting for someone somewhere, and that person is not even coming. So you wait for that person, or maybe a guest, you prepare for that guest, and that guest is not coming. So you go out of your way to do so many things for this particular guest who doesn't come in the end. It becomes in vain. The same with living a life where you do not have a purpose or a calling and all that. So the very first practical tip is read the word of God and pray, and you will think, wow, I have done that. Yes, read the word of God and pray. For me, I have found, well, I was reading the word of God. That's when I've had maybe convictions and revelations when I have been praying and even uh, keenly listening to God. Praying and reading the word of God is so key. And, you know, simply being broken before God and telling God, God, I know I have to be living a life where I have a purpose and I'm living towards my calling and all that and all those things. But I I don't know God. I don't know my purpose. I don't know my calling. So simply living a life where you are intentionally telling God be involved. Because you can be living in a certain purpose that God is not involved. And if God is not in it, don't be in it. So that's tip number one. Read the word of God and pray. And I want to add another comma. Listen to God. Listen to God. I think I should do a video where I talk about how do you listen to God. Yes, I think I can do that. Comment down below if you really think, if you really agree with me on that. So the second thing is know your strengths. Most of the times our purpose is um, pegged on our strengths. Those things that we are able to do effortlessly most times. So that means there are other least times, but most times it's those strengths that you have. Like for example, uh, probably you are, you do, like for example, you serve people effortlessly. Maybe you plan things effortlessly. Like, you know, you it's just your strength to plan things. Maybe you can be a wedding planner. Maybe your purpose in, is making people's events look great, making missions go great and all that. Maybe you know how to talk. You're a great orator. Maybe your, your part is in influencing or something of that sort. So it is really important for you to know your strength. Look at what is it that I do so effortlessly. Probably your purpose in it is in that particular thing. The third thing is like, I think it should have been the second after praying and reading the word of God. But what is it that gives you so much fulfillment? You know, that thing when you, after you're doing it, you have so much fulfillment. For me, there's so many things, but one of them is, the moment I record a video and I maybe post and then someone says, this is timely, 
uh, this is, uh, I have been helped, I've been going through this, that gives me a lot of fulfillment and I feel like, wow, I'm in the right path, I'm doing the right thing. Sometimes maybe when you see things are in order, that you get so much fulfillment. So brainstorm and think, what is it that gives me so much fulfillment? And the other thing is, what are you most passionate about in life? What gives, what are you like, when you hear about it, you're like, I want to hear. You know, like for me, even something to do with film, I think I have so many, I don't know, passions and everything. But when I think about film as well, I want to know what, which film, what did happen, what happened, what, and all those things. Whenever I see a fellow Christian YouTuber, you know, post something, I'm like, I want to know, I want to learn more. And you... You can look about for what you're most passionate about. The other thing is surround yourself with good people with positive vibes and also listen to people. Sometimes people see potential in you that you can't see. Maybe someone is saying, hey, you're a good singer. I'm a you, you're a good actress. Hey, you're a drama queen. You can't act. You, you know, those may be pointers that that actually could be your purpose. So, so try to straight out. And it's not wrong. To try something and then it fails. It's not wrong. At least you try. Imagine if it's the right thing and then you're not trying it because you're afraid of failure. Then you won't be able to live your purpose. So it's really important. And I talked about strengths. But I also want to say that even your weaknesses can be turned into your strength. It may be something that you love, but you don't have skill to do it. You can always get skill. You can always learn. Like YouTube has so many. I was telling a friend of mine like... I think YouTube has everything. Like I have, I was having a problem with my editing software and a friend of mine directed me and everything. And I was like, wow, YouTube has everything. Like I've been able to solve this problem without having to download another software or doing A, B, C, D. So it's really important for us to be able to understand that our weaknesses can be turned into our strengths. I don't know if I've been so fast, but... I think that is it. That's how you discover your purpose. And I don't know, I'm so passionate about purpose. And whenever I see my friends have like a certain idea or they want to do a certain thing, it really burns in my heart because I really want to see people doing things in a manner that, not doing things that really are giving them so much joy, so much fulfillment, and so much peace. Imagine living a life that you love, living a life that, you know, you admire. All. I have a friend of mine, she's called Laura. Laura usually says, I am living the life I love. And I really love that phrase. I am living the, li the life I love. So you cannot live the life you love if you're not living into your purpose. So this day, do it. As I always say, just start walk. You know, walk, 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 walk into your purpose. And that is all for this week's video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and tell me what have, has been the most difficult thing when you were discovering your purpose. And if you've already discovered your purpose, which tip did you apply or what did you do so that you are able to discover your purpose? And I'll be very happy to see your comments and I'll surely reply. And if you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, my friend, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe. And that is all for this week's video. So until next week, God bless you. Have a blessed rest of the week. And remember, as always, that God loves you a lot. Bye-bye. Until next Thursday.